Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Jupiter Boys. That was my buddy who can't enunciate anything. I'm going to go in Barmica. Thanks, bud. Um, he, he cannot enunciate. Introduce yourself, please. I'm Quinn Jupiter. Um, You're the other brother of the brothers Jupiter. The other brother. And uh, we're two boys. We're from the planet Jupiter. And each week we get together to have stupid conversations. Yep. So you do not have to. Exactly. Uh, we flip a coin of truth to decide who goes first in the topicathon. There is a uh, logo side and there is a writing side. Quinn, That's which right. side would you like? I'd like the Radio Topia side, please. The writing side. Yeah. We probably oh. shouldn't be using that branding. And it's the writing side. The writing side. Quinn, what do you got for us this week? Um, so, as you know, as I don't, we both don't, know. Don't assume I know okay. anything. Okay. First off, that's very rude. Okay, so I'm going to preface this with... Oh, with don't preface lapse. anything for me. That is extremely rude and, and agitating. Well, it's, ex- it's necessary. Don't tell me anything is necessary. No, just go ahead. Okay. There has been an ancient war between two factions in our society. Those who love dogs and those who love cats. <laughs> All, uh, I.e., dogs or cat people so i wanted to come to you and scientifically go through each species and and name their strengths their weaknesses where they can adapt where they can get better and finally figure out once and for all which one is better dogs cats i also wanted to add a little bit of like a mystery thing so if you have a ringer like a ringer pet that you think is superior to dogs and cats i'm talking about weasels you know okay. like mike or phallic f- ferrets ferrets weasels anybody in that in that merch in that that fucking family man um you know or goat <clears throat> think about how sweet a goat is you know yeah but i don't know if they make are you are we talking okay so let's first of all talk pet about ability it's know? the pet okay so it is the pet factor yeah it's like which is which would be your like your lo- your most loyal companion, the one you want to like share Fallout it's Fallout Fallout style adventures with. Okay, well if we're talking Fallout style adventures, it's pretty clearly a dog. Dog. You can't you can't you really, can't really avoid... train a cat. You can't yeah. You can't train a cat to follow you, and if you have, you are essentially. I mean, I could see if you trained a, I don't know, like a a big ass bird, like an eagle or a falcon. Falcon would be good because you can like get you some mice and you can train it to like attack people too. Like you can have it claw out people's eyes and shit. Yeah. Like that's a pretty sick ass talent. Oh yeah. Um, Like David in the gun, in the gunslinger. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's in the gunslinger, but I think it is. Uh, no, I think it's in something. Yeah. Maybe might be in the gunslinger actually. Any, anyway. Uh, so, and what about like a, okay. Can we assume that you can like train any kind of pet or yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah like so you can like well to a degree you yeah know? see that's the thing like you can't train a snake like no matter how hard you try to train a snake a snake a snake's just gonna snake because lizards like don't really do that shit yeah so like you kind of have to factor in that it's it's pretty much gonna have to be a mammal like maybe you're training a bird to do like a couple oh but see things. maybe a turtle like get a tortoise you can't train a tortoise to, tortoise to do fuck all that's tortoises true. do whatever the fuck they want to do yeah that's very true i mean having a pet that lasts a long ass time tortoise wins every that that race hands down every needs, time if you need you needed to solve fucking ancient riddles that you and then and just really slowly like if you're talking the about key to life my name is clancy th- and i am in this room right now of this recording and i've always been here and i'll always be here my name's clancy don't <laughs> forget it <laughs> quits talking about our turtle mascot clancy who resides in the room with us. Yes, I've been here the whole time. I heard your nasty ass pervy shit you've been saying. Please find Jesus. Okay, thanks, right, Clancy. Clancy. Thanks for your unwanted Clancy. fucking opinion. So if you're talking about like pets that you can rest your drink on, tortoise wins. Tortoise. Hands yeah. down. Like you said a drink on a tortoise, that thing is never, ever going anywhere. Yeah. They're pretty well balanced. They you super can, are. You can just like balance a couple books on there and shit. Yep. 
Easily. Just don't don't stress out the turtle's legs, you know? Don't stretch out the poor thing's legs. Yeah. But, yeah. And like so don't knock on turtle shells. I also I also want to go through dogs, okay? Let's let's name their advantages. What's their what's some advantage that the dogs blind loyal. blind loyalty. Blind and like loyalty. the thing is like it's it's loyalty to a degree of like sur- it's like a survival mechanism. Yeah. Like they have learned to obey this one species yeah. for survival. And like that's that's our that's our bad. Well, not our bad, but humans is bad that did this. Well, it's because like a w- one wolf was like really cold one night, saw humans with fire and they're like maybe if I act stupid, it'll give me food. Isn't that that the premise of that movie? The wolf movie? Probably. It's like alpha or something. Alpha, yeah. Yeah. Um it it was basically like more like uh they found pups of wolves. You know, like the yeah. ones that were like eating their garbage and they fed them their garbage and like they hang around, hung around and over like centuries they got more comfortable yeah. and then over like, it's you just know, a better image of like the wolf being cold at night and seeing the fire and being like, oh, maybe if I'm just stupid, like maybe if I'm just like, hi, like well, they play dopey and like they and, like surrender to the humans. There was like a thing like where they trained, they tried to breed foxes to be domesticated. Yeah. And, uh, Finnick like, foxes. Yeah. Like there's domesticated foxes now. Yeah, there are now, but like it, basically like they did this thing and like it took them like 10 generations and what they found was like when they did, uh, the foxes got like certain traits. So they got floppy ears. Oh. Like that's one thing. And like, cause like floppy ears sort of indicates that the, the prey, the predator, like the thing ha- has been domesticated. Yeah. Another thing was they got, uh, their tails wagged more like vigorously. Like they, like they developed like the ability to like wag tails and to like indicate like that. Like yeah. just like that sort of grew in them as well. That's awesome. And they, a specific type of bark, it was like a, like a chirp almost. Wow. Um, they that's did, cool. they did more and more. So that's rad. Yeah. That's cool to know. So I also want to say that dogs, um, they will protect you, you know, like that's, uh, that's on top of loyalty. Cats, but like, but like, cats can protect you too. But dogs aren't necessarily a protector thing. Like they probably will, but yeah. like you don't know until the you shit hits the know, fan, yeah. right? So like they could just like fucking book it. Yeah. It depends on how scared they are in that moment. Depends on the dog too. Yeah. It depends on the dog. It depends on how you've trained it. Like everything depends on you yeah. really with a dog. Like a dog is sort of a blank slate. It's true. I mean, it has its own personality a little bit, but you mostly like put that on the thing. Yeah. If you love up on a dog, it's going to be loving up on you. You know, it takes what it gets. So cats are a very interesting species because cats will fuck you up. Cats can fuck a person up. If you find a way to train a fucking cat, I think a cat could easily beat a dog because a cat can just outsmart a dog or just hide way up and then just like paw the shit out of the dog till it's just like, oh, yeah, if we're talking about animals that can survive on their own cats, cats, win. cats all day. But, you know, I don't know how to make that a pet. You look at a cat and you're like, how the fuck do I make that a pet? It's impossible. It depends. I think it depends a lot on like what kind of person you are. Yeah. Because I think that like there's some people that just like want to like let shit be and like do its own thing and then come to it when they want, when it wants. Yeah. You know, like, and like, that's cool. But like my dog is always happy to see me, dog. Yeah. Me too. Dogs are just happy to see you and cats are like, I could give a fuck if you existed. Also, clean up my shit and (laughs) feed me on the fucking day or I'm going to meow until you fucking die. (laughs) I'm going to meow until your death, motherfucker. I will stand outside your door and just meow, 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 fucking give me food. Yeah. That's cats. Dogs cry, though, and bark and, like, you know, do, do, like, run around. Nothing's nothing's a scorn fury like a cat at fucking 2 a.m. knocking off all the shit in your house. You're like... What the fuck are you doing? It's 2 a.m. Go to sleep. Why are you like this? My dog's in my cr- in the crate. The dogs are in the crate right now. Sleeping. Sleeping away. They're having a peaceful night. See, it feels like you came to this this debate. With- just with a hatred of cats. And yeah. I just had to just had to unload some of my burdens about cats. <laughs> you had a, a, a hateful cat ideology. Let's talk about pigs. Pigs I, apparently can be pretty good pets. If you raise them from like a baby to be a pet. Right. And pigs are crazy smart. They're like smarter than dogs. They're very loving. Stop yawning. I you motherfucker. Nobody would have known I was yawning. <laughs> I had to bring it up. Say anything, but I had to do it. 
I'm sorry, I'm very it's tired. in the air. I've been up for a long time. So have I. Several days. Several days? I'm doing meth now. Are you Robin Williams in Insomnia? No, wait, it's Al Pacino that can't... God damn sleep. it, Quinn. Son of a bitch! Quinn! You fucked that Get up. Get it together! You fucked that up big time. Fuck. I feel ashamed for you. It's a Christopher Nolan movie, too. I should have... God damn, no! I didn't, I didn't know that was a Christopher Nolan movie. Yes, sir. Huh. It's in his Blu-ray set. Which so, I have got. Uh, what's the verdict there, bud? Dogs. And that's the end of the topic. Dogs. So... You like dogs? <laughs> Do you like dogs? <laughs> so you've heard it here first, folks. Uh, definitively, dogs are the better pet. Uh, it is time for our mid-show smoke break. I forget about this every time. I know. It's a good thing I have a memory. I want to um, just a tell a I'm little... Not, it's a good thing I'm not the main character for Memento. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I didn't know when I could smoke weed, when I should light a bowl. Also, I didn't know. I've completely forgotten what topic I was originally going to have. <laughs> I'm so fucking baked. So I want to tell a story, a little story. Story time. It's going to sound real weird for the listeners. She's like walking away. Story time. Where did he go? Story. <laughs> it's, it's like one of the, it's like the Willy Wonka where he, he just like <laughs> starts walking and you, you just have to expect it to know to follow him. You're just like, sir, 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 please don't go behind the chocolate fountain. I don't know what's behind there. Please, no. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, no, no, he's gone. <laughs> oh, the magical murder man is gone. That's good. <laughs> um, so, story time. I forgot that was you telling the story. I smashed my fucking noggin on Jim's counter when I was... Not a counter, a cupboard. A cupboard. Uh, yeah, it's not a counter at all. In fact, I'm... it's the opposite of a counter. A counter. And I guess it's like a cupboard, count, a cupboard, cupboard never counts, but a counter never cubs. A counter doesn't cub if a counter goes cluck. <laughs> you, you, you just pointed at me like I was supposed to know what to say next. It's like, there you go. Take that. Just laying that at your feet. Can I smoke some or are you still smoking? I'm still smoking, bud. Still smoking. Give me a break, bud. We're still smoking. Well, this episode's going to go over because Jim is just still smoking. He's still smoking to this day. So <laughs> I cut my head open pretty good, and I don't know if I'm concussed, but I don't think so. I don't think so. You're speaking pretty coherently, although it's hard to tell. It's hard to difference. tell because I'm intoxicated already, stoned, which we are in every episode, and we're going to continue to do in every episode. And this half bowl every, every episode. Oh, I remembered done. my topic now. Nice. Okay. That's... That's good. We'll wait till Quinn finishes his bowl. That's good. Don't, don't fucking forget your topic. I won't. I got it. It's in my noggin. It's in my noggin. This is like unlistenable drivel, just so you know. Like, I don't know what we're doing with this show, but we can't. I can't think. I don't think we can air the, the smoke breaks. I think we have to like. Oh, I've already put one on. I know. We should stop putting them on. No, <laughs> never. Never. I will never do it. That's it. Okay. She's pooched. Let's do... What's your topic, Jim? Okay, my topic this week, Quinn. Inspired by an Instagram post I saw immediately prior to starting this episode. Okay. Power Motorsports. Power Motorsports. We're or talking motor, Sea-Doos. Motor, motor Power Sports. Yes. Yeah, we're talking Sea-Doos. Okay. But we're also we're talking also, four wheels. Yeah, we're talking four wheels. We're talking... Uh, dirt bikes we're talking motocross we're talking motorcycles we're yeah. talking uh monster trucks all the dangerous fucking yeah all the most dangerous things with big engines that make a lot of noise yeah you know uh that kind of shit and things that surprisingly seeing as how compact and fit and small they are make a whole hell of a lot of noise like a dirt bike they're fucking loud man they scare the shit out of me <laughs> I never <laughs> wanted to ride a dirt bike as long as I live. I've seen Place Beyond the Pines, man. You're not going to... That's not a good time. Um, I still haven't seen that movie. It's a good movie, man. I know. you Check it fucking you, out. You've told me this probably on the podcast like at least five times now. At least five times. Uh, you got to watch it. That's the movie we're watching the next time I come over. Oh, God. Isn't it like a super it's dark bleak. movie? bleak. Yeah. <laughs> it's bleak. Strap in, bitch. 
<laughs> you're going to think about why your life sucks. Knock, knock, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a quote from It's, it's Always Sunny, <laughs> where they throw a garbage can. That is my favorite episode of that Me show. Too. Million dollar, uh, hundred dollar, it's baby. a hundred dollar baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. So good. Hey, 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 hey. I can handle the chair. He can handle the chair. <laughs> uh, so I want to talk about Power Motorsports specifically. Okay. First of all, I don't really understand the appeal of it. No. Like I get, here's what I get about it. I get speed. Yeah. I get that that's sort of fun. Yeah. I get riding a thing to get speed. Yeah. I get, I get that that's sort of fun. But for me, like a roller coaster delivers the same thrills. It's true. With like very few of the way risks. People are like risks. way more afraid of roller coasters because like, you know, like there's sort of like a fear about them. But so few people but die on roller coasters. It's all fucking like, it's, it's all propaganda. Like the ones that like, it's like. 10 people a year die from roller coasters. It's like, wait, 10? Paid for by the motocross council. 10 Uh, people a year? Yeah. That's not that many. I know. It's, (laughs) it's, and like, if you look at like dirt bikes and motor, like motorcycles, like they literally call motorcycles, like doctors call them donor cycles because like, because like you die so often and like a lot of the time some of your organs can be saved. So they call them donor cycles. Woof. Yeah. Like it's, they're like real bad guy at work. Got hit by a fucking or hit a moose on his on his motorcycle. What he on hit his a moose. motorcycle? Yeah. How is he l- alive? He fucked up his face. He like broke his nose and his jaw in a bunch of places, and like broke his arm and shit. But he was fine. Like other than that, he was fine. Like the- <laughs> other than like his entirely broken body. Yeah. He was okay. He was okay, but he like he he walked away from the scene trying to pick up parts from his bike, trying to put it back together. Dude's a motherfucking crazy hero <laughs> not a hero but like yeah too dumb to die oh yeah uh, so just just a tough motherfucker yeah so uh i don't really understand the appeal of see i've, like, I've gone four-wheeling i have done a bunch of four-wheeling it's fun I've, I've done four-wheeling but it's not like and like it was okay yeah but like it wasn't like super see, like i've i've grown i kind of grew up more on four-wheelers because like our stepfather, right? Yeah, has, I mean, had like, a four wheeler. Yeah, but like he and, had them when I was a kid too. Yeah, but he didn't use them as much as. No, he totally did. He used them more at the beginning than he did he did later. Yeah. Um, and so like I fucking rode them. Like I rode them before you rode them, and like yeah, that's true. they were all right. Like it was like I don't know. It was just ne- it never caught my. You never my tickled fancy. your fancy, and like there was a point where I was like, you know what, a motorcycle might be pretty awesome. Have you tried to see do? I have not tried a sea dew. Yeah, I think a sea dew would be fun because you got so much space. If you're in a fucking lake, you, you got could a still lot of fuck space. yourself up real you good. You could fuck a, yourself a up sea-doo. bad, and you're out in the middle of nowhere where you can drown. Yep, like that's it's, the thing about sea dews. Yeah, you gotta have balls. Like if you crash a motorcycle, at least you're on solid ground. <laughs> if you crash a sea dew <laughs> and go unconscious, that's the end of you. <laughs> you're dead now. Dax Shepard tells a story on his podcast about how he goes uh, wakeboarding one time of and of course he wakeboards and he get he gets like the water like the way he hits the water he gets like an enema so like the water just like <laughs> cleans him right the fuck out and he like gets severely concussed by the wave as well and wakes <laughs> up and and he keeps making the same joke about like <laughs> he just keeps repeating the same joke over and over again cuz he's super concussed and it's a good story um, thank you for shittily retelling the very good story <laughs> go listen to action go and listen to a nether podcast it's better than us it's always better than us that's a guarantee <laughs> <laughs> um there's there's few things we can guarantee here at the jupiter boys well, one is that our podcast is not as good as other podcasts now monster trucks i've never been in a monster truck but i've always wanted to here's, be in a monster here's truck. my question okay uh, yes anybody would drive a monster truck yeah i think like just to see a monster truck be like yeah i kind of want to drive that thing here's my question yeah i don't understand well this isn't a question that's more a statement i don't understand people who go and watch monster trucks. oh god those are the the wh- what are you doing with your time that is the most <laughs> unproductive <laughs> thing you could ever do. Or the BMX shows. So, or like something like that. <laughs> like, you know, those shows. Well, hold are... on, hold on, hold on. BMX, I will sports. grant, at least you propel your own body yeah. through the through the air. The uh, the motocross. Actually, motocross is pretty sick sometimes. 
But like, okay, so like I can understand racing. Yeah. But monster trucks literally just fucking baffles me. <laughs> Because it's just like it's just like going off of jumps and doing like flips and shit. And you're like, like, what is the point of this? Watch this big truck crush these little cars. <laughs> like, you know, it's just so dumb. Yeah, it really is. But I, but you'd want to drive a monster truck at least once in your life. You just want to be like, <laughs> you know what? You know what is is pretty fun I love to watch. That you just made the sound effect. <laughs> In reference to a, a monster truck. <laughs> for your fully work. That was the that was the gong of, the gong of, stupidity. of stupidity. Yeah, that was perfect timing. Yeah. So you know what I think are cool? So this is kind of like in a if you ever go okay. to a small is this town. this related to the topic? Because yes, you just yes, it is. This. Okay. It is. It's it's like demolition derbies at, at fairs. No, that is not cool. Those are motorsports. And that is like so fucking fun to watch those idiots drive into each other and just fuck up their the shitty Toyota Camrys that they've fucking decked out with like crazy ass rims. Well, no, they're never like they never they don't put like tons of rims on them. No, they just, they just spray like, paint them yeah, real good. Yeah, <laughs> they like put like a skull on there. Like, yeah, demolition derbies like. I, I don't think I've literally ever seen a demolition. Derby. Really? Yeah. Oh man, you got to go to like I've, the local oh, fair I've seen, and like, see one. Videos and and pictures of demolition derbies, but like nothing in my life has ever compelled me to watch a demolition. It's derby. so stupid, but like when you're in the moment, you just like get caught up in the crowd. You're like, oh fuck yeah, that guy rammed into him hard. So maybe you are the missing link between me and monster trucks. If That's you true. can enjoy a demolition derby, it's true. I've is taken that just little a monster little, truck show with tiny cars. It's a little step. It's a little step forward. But in monster truck shows, you don't have cars driving full fucking speed. Like actually, uh, in the rules of the driving, you can't drive straight at another car. Right. You have you to have kind to of just hit them on the side. Side. Yeah. And like you can't hit the driver's side and stuff like that. You know, right. like there's rules like that. But like. You never see two monster trucks like fucking duking it out. Like that would be cool. No, you to I think there totally is that. Are man. there like battles and shit? I I'm like I'm 99% sure that monster truck I thought battles. it was just people going off of jumps like over and over again. I think like, there's the definitely been some like some monster truck crashes. Like it just makes sense, right? That's like true. if you're going to like if you're going to jump monster trucks and crush shit you're probably going to crush monster trucks with monster trucks at some point. Like yeah. you just get it. You get the bigger monster truck to crush the smaller monster. You know, what'd be funny if like, if they did like a, <laughs> there was like a huge news <laughs> news report that they're like, the people in, in monster trucks have been AI this whole time. They're testing our <laughs> intelligence and we failed. <laughs> Yeah, we really fucked that one up. Like uh, every person who's driven a monster truck has been like this this program that's been programmed to. Oh, I, to I got what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is is good. That's a good story. That's a good. Uh, and idea really, they're just like they're just robots that just like wave and say, "I'm gonna crush it." And then like <laughs> the car is the real AI intelligence. It's true. Yeah. Um. So motorsports. What else? What else? Are so we've covered. The motocross or like the B, the motorcycles and the speed bikes. Yeah. We've covered sea dews. Yeah. We've covered four wheelers. We've covered monster trucks. What about the spiders, the three wheelers? That's the end of the topic. So we're just never going to get there. Never. Fuck you, spider. And uh, fuck you, listener. But not all. Not really. <laughs> You're awesome. Thanks for listening. Fuck you tenderly. <laughs> <laughs> Consensually and uh, generously. So... Those are all the things I seek in a lover. We've been the Jupiter Boys saying things that we shouldn't say to each another brother. Um, another brother. My name's Jim Jupiter. My name's Quinn, another brother Jupiter. Thank you to Christo Graham for the use of our theme music. Christo Graham is an honorary another brother. And um, thank you, Quinn. And uh, you can go to thejupiterboys.com. All the episodes are there. You can, oh, there's the gong of stupidity because yeah. I ran into the gong. Um, you can, uh, that Dastard gong. And you can go to the, like, jupiterboys.com also has the link to the shop, and yep. you can get merch there, including right. uh, Double the Damon and uh, Dave Franco's Dream Boys merch. That's right. We have another show on the network. It's called Dave Franco's Dream Boys. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's not called Jupiter Dave Boys. Franco's. Dave Franco's. Dave Franco's Dream Boys. It's Dave Franco's Dream Boys. Yeah. And it was hosted by us, and we talked about Dave Franco. Well, Dave it's not Franco. not necessarily talking. 
hosted by us. It's by our AI that yeah. we have updated That's every true. week. The other show on our the, the Wadolfo Shark Network is Durf and Dietz. Yep. Uh, it's a couple Canadian boys from Newfoundland yep. uh, just having conversations, not giving a fuck. You know what would be cool is if we had so many shows on our network, we couldn't discuss them all. That would yeah. be pretty cool. One day. One day. Uh, Anybody who wants to join up, let us know. Holla at your boys. Twitter? Yeah, I'm at the Jupiter Boys. And I'm at Quinn Jupiter. You can also email at the, email us at thejupiterboys.com if you prefer. Shoot those nuts. Straight down all your emailing and Twitter gullets. What the shark?